Well, hello YouTube, and welcome to my little corner of the internet, and to another Technic Tuesday. Today, I have picked out set number 8408, a quite small set, a set from 1996, 284 pieces, called the Desert Ranger. A nice yellow buggy with seating for two. So uh, that's what we've been doing. Hope you enjoy it and let's dig in. Now the instructions are usual kind. So uh, not much to say about that. I got it. All my bricks and pieces ready. Um, hopefully, not missing any one this time. Last time, or well, the previous time, uh, I missed quite a lot of different pieces. Last time, I had checked and double checked and triple checked and still managed to forget some pieces. So, uh, fingers crossed. There will be no missing pieces this time. But we will begin with the ambiguous 1x8 Technic Brick and some pins. A single pin, single pin, a half pin, and now let's see a triple pin going through here. And a 16 stat. Uh, one, two, going there. One, two, going there. And one, two, going there. And a six by in there. Picture number one and two. Now one of the things to make this build something special to the previous is we actually got a differential for this one. Because we are going to put in an engine with pistons. Now there and some six stud axles so putting in a cock cock wheel there putting in a cock wheel there and an axle going through there and on the other side So, we actually got a working differential. And that will be going through like this. Yes. Then we need something for the front. Uh, there, there. There. And one more of those. Another four by axle. There we have it. And that will be going on the front. Yes. Going on. We'll have six by. Some black pins, yes. And now let's see, have this 16, double pin in there. This one going one, two, right 
there and there we have it then a another pin and oh that's not a six by that's an eight by right there Pin and a half pin on this side, like this. Then we need some two by bricks with two holes in them, and a two by two plate on top, and. Now where is, I need a two by three half round plate, like this one. There, and some one by ones. Like this, and that will go on here. And we can put this on. Oops. There we have it. With a working diff. And this one on front. Yes. That is one, two, three, and four. On to picture number five. Need a re locking ring. He whoops. No, that actually is not going to go through, which is why we need to lock it like this. And a two by brick and a two by three plate below. Same thing on the other side. Yes, a two by brick and a two by three plate to lock it. Yes, some two by four plates up here. And I need two tiles. There and some one by two plates. Where are you hiding? Yeah. On the front. Let's see, let's see, let's see. There. That's it. And then we just need. One by six. That was picture five and six. Moving on. And now we just need to secure these in place and have one of these one by eight Technic plates. running right there. Now it's time to put together the front, the steering. We need, now this time we'll be using some of these three by axles. And some locking pins, or locking rings, sorry. And these half pin, half axle. Right there. The other one. Done the same way. Yes. Like 
that. I just need some 2 by 3 plates up here. So we have prepared for the front steering and the back is locked nice and tight in place. Yes. Like that. Some one by eight plates on the back. A Technic plate to lock this. And one of these for the steering. Now that is ready, then we need to make something which simulates some sort of front bumper, something like that. There. Another four stud axle, three of those. Going through and some locking rings. There you have it. And that is going through here. Like this. Yes. Now we need, let's see, a six by and in an eight by axle. One of these small cock wheels going through the middle, an extension, a four by axle through there. And a locking ring. And that will be going through this part. That two by three half round plate. And we need a locking ring on front of that. And now where is that? One of the small cog wheels like this. Now that is for the steering. Yes. Now on the Back, we have another six by brick, a four stud axle, and one of these locking ring going through, and one of these with the bended teeth. Yes, and that will be going on the back like this. Yes. I believe that was everything for picture 10. Onwards. Now we need two, two by technique brakes with two holes in them. A six by axle and a locking ring here and these cock wheels and this size. 
There we go. For those of you who wonder uh, if you can hear voices in the background, uh, I just got uh, London Bridge Bricks Friday stream running in the background. An amazing guy. If you haven't checked out his channel, please do. He's an incredible guy. There we have it. So when the wheels turn, the diff turns and pulling this up here. And even if I lock one of the wheels, the other will still make it turn. Wonderful. Yes. Now we need to lock all this together. Some plates. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mm. Now I can see tonight Lon uh, Greg from London Bridge Bricks. He's got Sai O'Connor on the panel. He's got Matt Elder or Family Bricks. He's got Titanium J52, Tech Productions, Cafe Con Lego and Solo Brick Builder. All wonderful Lego YouTubers. And now on front, a 1x3 plate, a 2x Technic brick, going in place there. Yes. And some 3 stud pins going here, and there, and on the other side. Yes. Finished. Picked to 12. Okay, now starting from the front, some yellow and some grill pieces up here. Like that. A 2x6 Technic plate. A 10 stud axle. Yes, and a locking ring up here, and that will go there. You have for the steering. Now we need to close the back up. Hmm, I forgot something. I forgot something. I am just taking some of this slightly apart uh, all the way down to here because I forgot two small one by one round plates back here okay putting it all together again <laughs> Luckily, that was an easy fix. Now, some of these, well, some call them ladder pieces or lattice or grill or... What are some of these? Corner plate and a 2x4. Yes. Like that. Now putting this slightly to the side. Now we come to the really fun part. Need one of these. 
We got these pistons. So taking this one, putting on these and securing it like that. Yes. Then a four by axle. We got like that. Then we have these. Well, uh, what, engine pieces, I guess? Now, I already got some half pins inside here. So, this one will be going on this side. And this one with a half pin will go on this side. I need some black pins up here. That and the same thing here. Like that. And the piston goes inside. And the same over here. The piston goes inside. Like that. Yes. Now. Some one by four gray bricks held together by these corner plates. And plate up here and some one by one. Yes. And that four stud axle will go in the middle and the pins come on and the pins up here so when this axle turns the crankshaft inside will turn push the pistons in and out. Like that. And beneath for the other side a 4x, a 6x plate, a 4x plate, and some 1x1 one one bricks. Like that. To lock it here. And we need those half pins secure in the corner on each side. Making sure that these won't wiggle too much. Just need this cockwheel. And now this can go on here. So when the wheel turns uh, why does this not really want to move that much is it a little bit too tight somewhere Let's see, once we got it running, it should be going quite smoothly. Uh, let's see if I can notch this one ever so slightly ever so slightly oh, 
that's a little better. Yes. There you go. So, time to work on the front. Go like this. These two by bricks. One having a pin. One having one of these axles go together. A locking ring. Yes. And right now, the instructions tells me to put on a sticker across these two bricks. Now, that sticker uh, is long gone. Many years ago. Um, so, unfortunately, there would be no dashboard in this vehicle. But that's just something we'll have to live with. There. Now we come to quite a fun part. We need two locking rings, two three by axles, some gray, technic plates, and a jumper plate, and some of these. And another two locking rings. Yes. And some black pins. Good. There. This one going through. This one going... How is that? Like this. This plate and there we have it, and the jumper plate up on top, and these black pins in like that. Now we need to turn this, and it will go in here. Yes. Uh, another eight by brick on this side. And a locking ring right there. Yes. Another angular plate to keep it up on top. Some three by pins, yes, and some yellow one by one plates. Like, like this. Then some yellow bows. And inverted slope, same on this, on the wrong plate, and inverted slope, there and there. Now, some of these. I don't really want know what these are called. <laughs> these technic pieces. <laughs> and now, back in the days, I would I would have, have I would have called these wing pieces, because the first time I saw them, they were light gray and used for space ships. I have it. 
We just need a half pin, half axle there. Yes. A six by plate up on top. Some six by plates down the side. Yes. And now we need this panel with a sticker on. And this this sticker has survived, just as this one has survived the years. And there's another panel piece up here, and they will go on like this. And that will be able to swivel. Good. Now we need two more of these. And this will actually go over here and lock in through these bricks. Uh, now, if only I could get to turn like that. Yes. This will go down over. Whoops, I need to lock this in place. Now, there. Some locking rings here as well. Yes. Nice strong front bun bumper. Or cow catcher or oh, we can turn this up put these pins in through here and catch in here yes and the same here through and catch it inside here and pull this down good then we just need some one by two bricks on the back with some pins yes now we need something to support this so a one by eight, a three by plate, a two by two plate, and a pin in the middle, and that will go on here. Supporting it like this. And the same on the other side. Going on here. Like that. Still have the steering back here. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, and some 8 by bricks on these pins. Like that. Everything nice and locked. Then we need up on top. I need a six by technique brick just lying like this up here. And some angle plates with a one by brick and put this up here to hold this in place again a one by brick 
and there. Some pins up on top. And a locking ring, whoops. Yes. So, so far so good. Oh yes, the steering wheel going on here. Not that it's really functioning, but it's there. Good. Next is some six by yellow, and that will be on here. Same on the other side. Going on this one. Yes. And some 16. Now we need a some one by eight to lock these. Yes, and then there, same on the other side. Now it's taking shape, it's really taking shape. Just need some plates here on the front. This locking this six by brick in place. Yes, I think that was it for pictures seventeen and eighteen. Good. Now, the rear. These. And. Yes. Some inverted slopes. Like that. And. A four by some of these pieces, some half pins, a two by brick, and some half pins, and this stickered piece, some two stud axles, and two more of these. Good. So this one will have the half pins like that. These in place. The brick, the two half pins attaching to the here. With a sticker tile up on top, like that. The axles there and there and axle going in there and like this. And pin on each side. Yes.
Yes. Now we will go into some two hole technic bricks and here. Like that, and a six by plate to hold this all together. And that will go on the back like this. Yes. End of picture 19. Now, last three pictures. And uh, we need to lock this in place. There and there. Some plates up here. And some seats. And actually a grill piece at a, as a headrest up here. Like that. Some nice seating. And a pin to lock this in place. And now these plastic tubes going into the half pins inside here. That was one side and the other side. Yes, of course. Yes, of course. Come on. There. Uh, is that all the way through? Nope. Okay, now it is. It's all the way through. Come on, back on with you. And the stickered tile. And some of this going through there. And attaching up on here and down here. And the same on this side. a little bit there now we just need these round plates up on top here and finally some wheels This side and this side. And on the back. Whoops, that that went through. Now uh, can we hold back with this one? Nope, I need something else to hold that axle back. 
Come on. Yes. And it's a little tricky, apparently. There we have it. And it is finished. Something is a little tight. Uh, maybe I need to take something apart. But nevertheless, we actually have the Desert Ranger from 1996 with working with working pistons in the engine and untapped steering and some seating for some large Lego figures so that's it for this Tuesday set number 84 08. Hope you enjoyed and see you soon. Bye.